Don't you? Okay. Hey girls! How you doing? And on you go. Oh yeah, Subtle definitely. Bobby. So Americans did it better. Yes. A hundred and ten bike. Wow, that's a huge collection. Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. just going to see some old bikes. We couldn't go out yesterday to film it all because we were filming for Chateau DIY. Oh yeah, secret project and I tell you what, it's one to look out for isn't it Anna? It is, um, I can't wait to see. I mean, it's it's going to be April though next year in the UK so then afterwards around the world um, but I mean even the producer director was really excited about what we were making. Um, I am really excited because I didn't know what you would do and then you, you're doing it, that's mm. all I can say. And then we can see the maillot of the Tour de France here, so it just passed through here. Mm -hmm. and then the, the other thing is, we couldn't get out over this side anyway. There was literally a line between Cadillac and Le Bourne and you couldn't get over here. Um, basically you weren't allowed to drive. Because there were so many people. I mean, no, was, the, the oh, bikes, yeah, 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 they block all the roads. Yeah. Look at this perfect tree-lined uh, road. Typical French road. And all the vines. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are in wine country. I mean, wine area. It, it is kind of any excuse to go and see Valerie and Mikael though, isn't it, Anna? It is, especially when they're doing a free tasting. Well, of course. <laughs> And eventually, ev eventually, we're going to run out of wines to taste. <laughs> they, they're always innovating and they're always doing something new. So we, I mean, there's always a, there's never been a time where we haven't tried something new. Yeah. So we're now in La Lande de Pomerol. Yeah. So some people have asked us why we have this hanging here. Ed, do you want to do the honors? Uh, yeah, it's it's a Greek uh, thing. Basically, it's to warn off the evil eye, isn't it? Yes, but also it's for like, uh, imagine like you you want to do something and then you just play with us. Yeah, it's kind of uh, relaxing, isn't it, to do yes. that? Yes. To take the stress away. No. We are nearly there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Expo Vido. So, yes, we're there. Yes. Okay. So, of course, Valerie and Mikhail have invited us over, so we got them a little gift. Here you go, Valerie. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Aww. Merci à vous. Thank you for having us over. And we've lost Charles already. Charles, straight away, we just arrived. And he's already wanted to try the bikes. Wow! How do you know how to do it, Cha? Look at that! I can see him wanting to compete in the Tour de France. That's what part you tu restes sur les pédales. Ah, 
Ah, donc celle-là, c'est France. So there's even more bikes. This one is again from 1885. In England, it's called a penny farthing. Oh. So men with bowler hats and moustaches used to ride these. Nice. I think Emma wants to try this one. No, maybe not. No, Mikael. <laughs> Direct à maman maintenant. T'as mal fait. This one is really cute. So yeah, wow. this is all original. Guy started collecting bikes 45 years ago, and the first one he got was an English one. I can't wait to go and see the others. Come on, Chacha. Uh, tout à l'heure. Anna, you know why she's crying? Why she wants balloons? Yes, and poor Michael and Valerie have had to go and take one out of the vines. <laughs> You're joking. No. Oh, no, no. Okay, so yeah, it's special you balloon. You little winger. <laughs> but look how happy she'll be oh now. Dieu. Emma, tu dis quoi? Tu dis eh. merci? She's all happy now. Allez. Allez, on va faire la vidéo. I love my family. Vous êtes trop mignon. Comme ça, avant, vous pouvez tous les deux. Tu vas voir, c'est magnifique. So we have the chateaus on bicycle. <laughs> this is amazing. Eng and it's an English one. No, but it's Gouj BSA Goujon. So the, the guy that made it is called Goujon. Nice. Can you believe it? So it's a full English bike. Whoa, that's a big one. Oh, so this is a kid's one. I like that it has the light. The the Corsier Luxor. This used to be a kid's one, Charles. Hey, Charles, give me a hand. Let me show you this one. Look, right. Stop picking your nails. This one here is very old and it's made of wood. This is another English one. And metal form. on the outside. From Look at the pedals. 1889. If it's left like that, oh, it always goes to the same place. And look at the brake! Let's see this one. This one looks special. Yeah, I was just showing Charles this one. So it's wooden. It's very old. It's wooden with metal rim. Mm -hmm. And then the pedals are quite cool because look, Whatever, oh. however you leave the pedal, it always goes back to a position where you can just put your foot. Nice. And then the brake looks a bit harsh to me. Oh yeah, the brake, I think. Of course, I don't think it was string at the time, but bah. I mean, look at the Sparks wheels. Sparks have come off that. They're metal wheels. Oh, yeah, I think you'd get saddle, what's it called? Saddle bum. <laughs> saddle bum. <laughs> I think it's what it's saddle called. Bum. Oh yeah, saddle definitely. Bum. Remember, if this is metal. Anna. I've got the coolest bike for the coolest kid in town. Look at this. It's like a penny farthing style, but look, it's like shaped pretty cool. That if you had cool. that back in the day, you were like, look at me on my bike. And it's made in America. It, oh, America. And nice. to think that it's from 1889, yeah? <laughs> Can we just look at that? That's 1889. In the States. And, and that is only 20 years earlier in, the, in France. Look at the difference in technology. That's like kind of really old technology and that is really new. So Americans did it better. Yes. They definitely did. That but was don't, really classy. At least you said that in English so nobody heard. <laughs> I wouldn't dare to offend the nice man here that has all these bikes. He's been collecting them for so many years. Ah, I ran a jump, yeah. Well, okay. you could imagine the cool guy doing that, huh? It's like, I can hey girls! Are you doing and on you go. <laughs> you did that very well, Ed. <laughs> okay, so even the, this is much nicer, because it's leather. Not the metal one over there, I mean the brakes are... It's, it's probably in full working condition. And what do we have over here? Plaque de construction. What do you want? Okay. So all of these want? are from, uh, I'm going to say, okay, bicycle honey. makers over the years. Anna, we've lost Charles. Where? I don't know, but there's this other dude. He's messing up here, this other dude. <laughs> Did you do it? Oh my goodness! <laughs> we have Deadpool in the house. I mean, in the shop. <laughs> I think it's. What's your thought? Hey, Bunny. You look really cool.
So here we have a special piece, like Guy tells us, from pretty much the first ever cyclist that installed these colors, and this is the Maillot Bleu Blanc Rouge. So he made that himself. He was the first runner. He obviously won the first race, and sadly, he died at 20 years old, and he's uh, buried a few kilometers away from here. And to give him like homage and to pay him respect, they installed this shirt. And his name was Georges Cassignard. And he won it uh, three times. Il a gagné trois fois. Oui. <gasps> three times he won it. Amazing. And he was so young. Oh. Yes. Sadly, he died in Paris from a horse uh, fall when he was only 20 years old. But in the, in the short life he had, he left a huge legacy because the Tour de France is something world known now and it's something that every single year, it's like he was the starter. He, he started it all and look at it now. So this is a bicycle of what a bicycle would have been back in that day when like in the 1890s, 1893. So this is the kind of bicycle he would have used. And we can see a ladies one here. So this is one of the big, well, alleys in Bordeaux, a really nice one in the center. And they used to sell bicycles there. I like that it's a lady, very classy. Ah, so it's a ladies bicycle from 1898. How cute is this, the bell? It's already, yes, it has changed a lot. Oh, look at this. Look the bag at the back. Does it look cute, Charles? Oh, I like this one. Ça, c'est génial avec le sac derrière. Voilà. Sac de voyage. Oui. Just wait, Charles. Sac de voyage, sac de réparation. Oh, yeah. So here they used to have the repairing tools because you would go away for days on journeys and travels and visit your friends and work obviously and then you have to fix your bike and imagine riding in the middle of the night with this so it's a tricycle creeper oh english creeper oui. 1885 from england yeah so even that at that time they had like made sure that it would be to fit like if someone was tall it would get bigger if someone was short and they would just close it up and make it shorter Okay, so to transport it, number one, or to put it somewhere else, but also to, to adapt everything so it was to fit the, well, the tall and the short people. It's amazing. Okay, so it's like a sort of a road tax. So every year you would buy one of the years and you'd put it on your bike. Yeah, so you'd pay your road tax and the year after you'd pay it another year. So there's still some countries that still have the road tax, but back in the day used to have it for the bikes too. I mean, impressive. I like how we have the new, although pretty special because it's a Murano chandelier, with the old. And now we're going to go and see some more bikes because there's so many here. I mean, it's amazing. <gasps> Look at this. Cycle Clément, 20 rue Brunel, Paris, exiger la marque. Yeah, so, yeah, marks used to exist. Clément. Clément Gladiateur et Amber, France. Capital, 22 millions francs. That's big. I love this. This is beautiful. Then we have another one here. Griffon. Another one in Paris, but already you can see the Tour de France. We have another little bike here. Velocipede de Transition, 1869. So it's between the two. That's why it's like... Uh, transition, so transition, so it's not the big one, but it's not the usual bike type that we see now, it's between the two. But yeah, it's taking shape. Okay, we have more over here. 
Bicyclette Pedersen. Another English one! <laughs> you love the English one, Guy. <laughs> oh, this is different. Oui, so it's like a hammock seat. My goodness. Ah, du coup, comment ça... Ah, c'est dedans. Ça passe dedans. Okay, so the brakes, like Guy said, they're all inside. You don't see any cables outside. I mean, it's, it's evolved. I mean, it's changed a lot already. In just pretty much 10 years or 20 years, it's like... And even the pedals, everything is much different. This is almost like a normal bike. My goodness, there's more. Course. Ah, course. Donc c'est un vélo de course. Ça y est. Ok, so here we are. Les plaques, plaques de constructeur. Ok, so this is a Tour de France bike. Oui. And this is from 1937. Bicyclette course Cazenave. So it's a French one. Yeah, and this has been used in the Tour de France. You can see the two water bottles. Nice. It's such a beautiful thing to be able to see it close by and to know that this has been used. Henri Gautier, I mean, amazing. I love it. Look at the system then. The derailleurs, ce sont les premiers derailleurs qui ont été utilisés dans le Tour de France en 1937. So this is the first uh, system that I will try and find the right word because derailleur is in French, but I don't know how you say it in English. But this is the first system used in the Tour de France. Wow. And then what do we have here? Safety course bicyclette dite à cadre en croix. 1885, a different one. Okay, so this was like a, pretty much a running bike, a cycling bike, but this, the Tour de France didn't exist in 1885. Okay, so the Tour de France only started in 1903, but before that, they used to be races, but it wasn't pretty much as important and as checked as before. So in France we call this cadre en croix, so it's like a cross body or frame, cross frame. And in, Eng in English, well, in England, they used to call it uh, safety. But you can see why, because it's getting, I mean, it's getting better and better and safer and safer. So it makes sense. And we have 1910. So we are, I mean, the Tour de France was running here for seven years already and you can see rubber or two bottles you can just imagine and then what do we see here Elvish. okay so it's a french bike but english inspiration the cyclist was called de vic from bern in france and he rode this bike 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 in 1910. Impressive. And then two more to go. Bicyclette militaire. Birmingham small arms. Okay. So here we have an army one from Birmingham. 1918. So Oh, so it's the first bike that guy ever bought. And it's definitely an English one. Don't want to. Oh, the brown, oh, this is beautiful. London, 1918. Wow, impressive. I think it's beautiful. It is a stunning bike. So there's uh, three gears. Wow. And then you can control the gears here. Oh, can I do? No, no. Okay, guy's gonna drink it because I don't. It, I love that. I love that. You can just imagine that noise back in the day. At that time, I mean, I love it. And safety kangaroo bicycle, Clément, so French, 1885. This is beautiful. And we have Deadpool here, wanted to try more bikes, but I think maybe after Charles, maybe the other one, the first one, you can try again, but later on.
So they have made sure to make them smaller and every time they kept on making them better. So yeah, they, they reduced the size for, for safety reasons, but they still have the same transmission and the same way of pedaling. I mean, beautiful. It is, it is a work of art. So he's the gentleman that pretty much started uh, this bicycle, I mean, did this bicycle. Okay, so I thought we'd seen them all, but we haven't. So this is different. It's pedaling on the horizontal. And it's a French one, 1934. And look at this. And Guy, you're saying, how many bikes do you have? Combien de bicyclettes vous avez? 110. 110 bikes. Wow, that's a collection. I mean, that's a huge collection. You are, vous êtes un vrai collectionneur. Oui, ça fait 45 ans que je collectionne yeah. des For, Et vous recherchez toujours à trouver uh, des pépites oui, rares oui, oui, oui. 45 oui. years, Guy has been collecting these bikes and he's always looking for new ones to add to his huge collection. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone owning that many bikes. Bicyclette, a double cadran. <gasps> Elle est magnifique. From 1893. Est-ce que vous y voyez suffisamment Elle est magnifique, j'adore. Oh yes, a double frame. Charles, it suits you with the red. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I can see Ed, Ed is there with... Is that wine, Ed? Yeah, I'm just tasting a 2000... To make sure it's good for me. Well, it's just... I'm just tasting a 2021 Chateau d'Eau. Chateau d'Eau, oh, you're having water. <laughs> I was ready to say I want to try it until I learned it was water. <laughs> oh, so pure English one. Bicyclette, the Swift de la Coventry. So they have all, they found all the papers and goodness me. So yes, late 19th century. It's another beauty. Okay, so that one there is French and this one here is English. I have to say, both as, I mean, I can see the French one, they have the double frame. This one has the one, but the colors, similar. I love this. Beautiful. Guy, c'était parfait. Merci On va beaucoup. boire. Merci we, beaucoup. We've worked a lot now. <laughs> now we're going for a glass of wine. <laughs> or water. Both, maybe. Both. Yes, yeah, so Valerie and Mikael are doing open door days, so you can try the different wines. I will put a link, in, I'll put all the details in the description. And then we... Ah, so the, for the Tour de France, They've done special packs and they've done special offers. I don't know, depending on... It's the winner pack. The yeah, it's the definitely winner. the winner pack. Oh, and you have the different vintages. Ha, ha, ha.